Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss on printing the HTML page into PDF using NGX print library that will be used for Angular application. So let's create a sample application to understand the NGX print library. Command is like ng new and application name. So while creating it is asking like do you want to enforce structure type checking and structure bundle budget in our space for demo purpose I am saying no actually this is enables like a strict lint file where we get lot of compilation errors means to write a good code it will make sure to compile some errors so for demo purpose I am saying no for that for real time applications please make sure to do s yes. And for our demo, no need of routing. I am so no, no again. I will use CSS and it will start creating our, our application. I have successfully created. Let's open into Visual Studio Code. Command to open Visual Studio Code is code paste dot. It will open up Visual so Studio Code. This is my Angular application. And if you go to package.json. It was created with latest Angular version 11. Okay, fine. Now let's install our required npm package that is ngx print. So open our browser, such like ngx print. Click on the top link. So this is the ngx print. It supports from Angular 2 plus onwards. Okay. And let's copy the command. Okay. Paste our command. Let it install. So plugin has been installed. You can see in the dependencies ngx print. Okay. Now we will do a sample application like uh, to this where we want to print that as a PDF. So let me use the existing components only in app component.ts. Okay, here I am going to create some dummy data as of our to do list. So I am create like to do's. Clean car. Buy a book. Go to relate to song. Go to temple. Okay. Let's make it as to do this to do is completed and remaining are need to be unfinished to do's. So let's bind this to do's list in my app html.cs. Let's remove the existing code. Okay.
is that item so based on the status of the to do i want to apply some styles for that i will use ng class Let me add some styles. So these are my styles like uh, one is is completed class where its color should be green and uh, it should be strike off. If it is not completed, then it should be shown in blue color. So let's uh, add these conditions here. So this ng class dynamically based on the condition. It, it adds the styles to the HTML tag. Okay, first let's run our application and check the output. So application has been successfully built and started. It starts under localhost 4200 let's open the website see these are my to do's right this one is my completed to do so now what i want is now i want to print this html as pdf Let's create a print button here. Uh, before doing this, what I have to do is to use ngx print library, we should import its module. So let me go to app module. And here we need to import ngx print module Okay, we have added our NGX print module. Now, to make this button, to generate the HTML to PDF, we need to add a NGX direct to like NGX print. This is the code direct to that will get invoked or runs when we click on this print to PDF button. Okay, and one more thing we need to specify is for printing the our HTML, we need to specify the area up to which area we need to print as a PDF. To specify that, it will ngx print will take a HTML ID as a reference. Based on the HTML ID, the content inside of that uh, tag, either it is a div or span, any tag, the content inside of that ID tag will be generated as a PDF. For that, I am going to add a ID here. Okay, this is my area to be printed, need to be printed. Okay, this is all the area I want to be printed. 
this area is nothing but this one so we need to pass it as a input parameter like uh, print selection ID, selection id so it is a input parameter that will be read by this ngx print directive selection id let's pass this id name as its value and no save so yes print directive get element with tag name of no okay okay it is not selection i think it is section how it should work see my entire data is printed now the area which i specified to print that area got printed okay so that is the basic configuration uh, printing the html into pdf using our ngx print library now we, if we want we can uh, add title to our pdf for that uh, we need to use input parameter like print title print title i will name it as yours your to do list okay let's save it and check the output again let's close it and open it see here on the top you can identify let me zoom in so here we got to do title also okay that is the usage of print title property and next we 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 know right uh, our uh, tiles are not reflecting in onto the pdf right because by default it won't load or apply any styles to our pdf by the ngx print library so to do that there are a couple of different ways uh, in one such way is using the print styles so let me add print style input and it is like a uh, object array sorry object that takes input and in the in this approach uh, what we can do is we can do do only we can only apply styles to the tags like h1 or do or like that okay we cannot use CSS file uh, classes. So let me create an object. Let me apply for a H4 tag some some uh, CSS tags. Create H4 tag as a property in this object, and let I am applying color to it like red. Okay, let's save it. And uh, since it is a dynamic, okay, let's save it. it is giving object literal right i should use braces around it okay. let's try again see our uh, title has been added with style color red okay that is the one way but in this approach we can only add styles to the uh, html tags itself for suppose if you want to load all the styles that are rendered in our page into our pdf we can use another input property like use existing css to this property we need to pass just a boolean value whether it is true or false true means we want to enable the same css styles reflect into the uh, pdf so let me add that property like uh, use existing css that's need to be true so let's 
3 load it see now we got all our page styles onto our pdf it is reflected that is because of we have used input parameter like use existing css to true so this way we can uh, import all our uh, website styles to our pdf for, uh, okay that's all about the use existing css property for suppose if you want to do different styling other than this uh, uh, website are totally different style css style we want to use you can use another property like style sheet file this style sheet file should be created in assets folder because it will not be bundled along with the angular css like our uh, component css files will do so let me create a one sample css file in assets folder i will name it as pdf.css okay uh, let me copy my existing styles from the app component to this newly created css file I will change this color as yellow and this color as red. Okay. So to pull this external CSS file and apply into our PDF file, we need we we have another uh, input parameter like let's remove this. Uh, style sheet file it will take the path of our css file assets slash pdf slash css okay let me save it and check our output see all the styles from external css file has been loaded okay that's all about the features to generating the HTML to PDF using the NGX print library in Angular application. I think this video has delivered some useful information to you all. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon with new videos. Until then, signing off.